Okay, it is Sunday afternoon. I'm catching my breath. Um, we did, well, yesterday I didn't vlog anything. I didn't do anything. I never even got out of my bathrobe. My treatment nurse came, and I had my treatment, and I just, I'm just so, I guess, planning for the holidays, trying to get things done, be a productive adult. And I think it finally caught up with me. Even though it's just going to be me, Fat Man, and Carol Beth here for Thanksgiving, my list has grown of the things I would like to make. And Fat Man has done told me it's okay if I don't. Carol Beth done told me it's okay if I don't. But in my heart, I want to. I, I keep thinking of, well, Grandma would have made this. And Grandma would have made that. But we always had a huge crowd when I was little. Now it tapered up, well, it tapered down once we got older. But um, yeah, that's when Carolyn got meaner. My mother. If y'all are new here, hey, hon, how you doing? How's your mom and them? I need to start saying, how's your cousin and them? Um, but yeah, yeah. If you want to know what kind of started me on YouTube, I'll link that video down below and it explains a lot. So, but today we went to Walmart and then Aldi. Walmart was specifically to get baking items like for my loaves, that loaf pan. I'm going to do cranberry orange and the banana nut like loaves, the mini loaves. And I found the mix there and it's just going to be easier if I just do the mix. Just do the mix. I was going to make homemade. And my list for the homemade was like that long. So, we're going to do the mix. So, I'm going to show you the Aldi haul first. And then I'll show you what we got at Walmart. So, Fat Man's getting his tools up. He is going to go over to Luke and Maddie's house. They are making a... He's making a swing set for her. They want like just a good, sturdy wooden swing set for not like the playground thing just two posts one post and swings that's what they want i was wanting to get her to be play yard they were gonna pay for it they were they were paying for it and opas putting it together but uh yeah yeah i thought they meant a swing set now which that's okay too that's okay i'll eventually be able to where i can get her a slide you know us Omas. Anywho, oh, and thank you, my brain. I'll get it in a minute. Aldi haul. Well, let's do that first. Let's do that first. That's where I'm at. Okay. Carol Beth went with, well, Fat Man drove. Me and Carol Beth did Aldi while he hung out in the har Harbor Freight. It's wonderful. they got those two stores like right next to one another. Uh, Carol Beth was looking at popcorn tins at Walmart. And I knew I'd seen them on sale somewhere. And blessedly, it was Aldi. Now, there, there's, I don't know though. I was going to say there's a little bit smaller. But now that I'm looking at, I think it's the same size. It was so much cheaper at Aldi though. It was like $4.69, I want to say. So we got that. I let her pick what decoration. I was hoping she'd pick the nose. And she picked the puppy. She loves anything with puppies. Um, this was her treat for the week. She picked out coffee cakes. And she was so sweet. She's like, you and Daddy can have some. So I thought that was sweet. Um, I've been here. I told y'all about the Dutch apple pie. Um, and blessedly, they had some. There's like three... Three sixty nine, maybe. Um, I wish I had my receipt on me, and I could tell you. But anywho, this is the one that they did like a taste thing, and this was voted the number one apple pie pre-made out of any grocery store. They even tested Publix and Costco. Aldi one, of course. Love our Aldi brown and surf rolls. They were ninety nine cents. I got two of them, one to go in the freezer and one for Thanksgiving. Um, 
barbecue chips we had gotten some last week, and I was so excited. You know, usually it's just air, and then not that many chips. I opened that barbecue up, it, it, I kid you not, chips were up to here. I was so excited. Um, we uh-oh, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? We're falling apart here. Okay, the Big Dippers, we love those. We usually have those when we have tacos. I'm not doing tacos this week, though. You're going to see our mini plan in a little bit. Two sauces, because we were completely out. That taco casserole that I made. Oh, my stars, y'all. It was divine. Um, two packs of Ritz crackers. You know, their version of Ritz for casseroles. And soups and chilies and stuff. All right, I got two things of Brussels sprouts. Not on my list, but they were on sale, and they looked so good. Look at these. do they look good? The only lettuce that they had that was even thought about bringing, be able to bring home was this Boston hydroponic let lettuce. Hey, fat man. Hey. How you doing? Good. I found that lanyard. Thank you. See, it's just a cord. Hey. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick up where we left off. But, yeah. um, This Boston hydroponic lettuce, and it looks so good, y'all. But that was the only kind of lettuce that looked like it was worth bringing home. No. I don't know what I'm doing. I dropped something. All right, squash for squash casserole. I went ahead and got two because they were on sale fairly inexpensive. I can always freeze them. So, push comes to shove, I can freeze them. A three pound bag of sweet potatoes was $1.79. And look how nice, that's the perfect size. Sweet onions, got those. What is this? Two pounds, two pounds. Celery, oh my goodness y'all. When we went in Walmart first, and Fat Man was looking, don't you eat celery? I'm like, no, I'm not getting it here. At Walmart, it was awful looking. I mean, nasty. And it was a dollar, I want to say it was a dollar sixty-eight. Yeah. Aldi, it looked so good. Ninety-nine cents. Ninety-nine cents. Heck yeah! I got two of those jokers. Because you can freeze chopped up celery. Just saying. Alright, moving on. Fiji apples were a good price. I got those. I needed parchment paper for some of our baking. I got corn tortillas. We love these for just a change of pace. Doing just plain tacos every Tuesday gets kind of... So, I do like taco casserole or um, taco salad or taco soup or uh, Navajo tacos. And I thought we hadn't done corn tortillas in a while. So, I got those for a change. I, sorry about the neighbors. They're booming down the road. Cat treats. Um, I was excited that they're pure almond extract and they're pure vanilla extract. It says pure. Well, it says pure on the vanilla, but it don't say pure on the almond. Anywho, they were like a dollar ninety-nine. So got those. I needed corn syrup for some of our baking. So, and that's a good size bottle, thirty-two ounces. Um, I got the baking like pound. I got one thing of brown sugar. Another thing of the five-pound all-purpose flour. Um, tonight we're going to watch, I'm going to have to sit down. I've been on my feet way too long. All right. Tonight we're going to have, um, Monte Cristo sandwiches. And I thought, well, that's not really going to be enough to fill everybody up. Because we were hungry. In fact, on the way home, we let Carol Beth make the executive decision. And of course she decided she wanted Donald's. That's what she got. Donald's. So we went to Donald's drive through take out we ate it when we came home and then unloaded the car because we had the stuff in the cooler so anyhow all that being said we're going to do monte cristo sandwiches tonight and i thought you know 
Survivor Series of the Wrestling is going to be tonight. So, and she was talking about, yeah, we're going to watch that. So, we're going to watch that. And I figured we might need some finger foods. And it'd be good to have some finger foods during the week, you know, if we're kind of eating light, gearing up for. So, Batman loves their layered dip. Absolutely loves it. So, that was another reason why I got the scoops. I figured we're going to do that. Carol Beth saw this. She loved brownie hummus. I've not seen the brownie anymore. They had sea salt caramel. They had sea salt caramel. And then they had the pumpkin pie. So she wanted to try pumpkin pie. So I got that. I also got two things of cinnamon rolls. Excuse the neighbors. Cinnamon rolls. Two things of crescents. I've got some little smoky sausage in there. So I figured I could do pigs in a blanket one day. Um, got a cheese ball, the sharp cheddar. I've been looking for a cheese ball. And no matter how I put it into the search engine, it wouldn't come up with anything. So, saw it, grabbed it. Sour cream I need for a couple recipes. I got some spreadable butter. Carol Beth picked up two of her yogurt. She loves these tilts. Yogurts were few and far between, y'all. I mean, it was sketchy. They didn't have, I mean, one whole, one whole shelf thing, completely empty. Nothing there. Frozen potatoes, like your tater tots, fries, all that, you know, bagged hash browns, none of it there. I mean, gone. Gone. So, anywho, 98 cents a dozen for eggs. This is the only thing that went down in price. Only thing. Because they were like $1.69. 98 cents. I grabbed two because I've got a lot of bacon I'm going to do. I was looking for the big bag of the cheese. Like the, oh, I forgot what it is. Eight cup, the eight cup bag. They didn't have it, so I had to get two four cup bags. Mild cheddar for recipes and stuff I'm going to do. Two gallons of milk. Waffles were on sale for 99 cents. Got two of those. Hash browns. This is the one potato thing that they finally had. Woo! And we love. We love doing these in the air fryer. If we're doing like chicken nuggets or fish sticks or corn dogs in the air fryer, we just pop a couple of these in there too. And that makes a great, wonderful lunch. They're also good for breakfast. So, um, I did get some pork sausage in the tube. Um, I wanted to do some sausage balls. They were completely out of baking mix. You know, like Bisquick. None to be had. None at Walmart. So, it was a bust. But, I'm going to keep that. Probably do another breakfast casserole. Maybe next week. Um, the week, you know, the week after. I'd seen this bacon. Black Forest bacon advertised uh, not advertised they were talking about on the Aldi Nerd Facebook page about how good it was it was four to four something it was over four something and I debated but I wanted to try it I just I wanted to try it so um, like I said we got the hash browns and then we got a popcorn chicken thing of chicken nuggets this is what I usually use whenever I'm doing Chinese or, you know, like stir fry. Six Sister Stuff Sticky Chicken is the sauce that I use for that. So, that is everything that we got from Aldi. Um, I think we did pretty good. It was $128. I had a budget of $100. I know we had said $40 for the week. But I need for the week of Thanksgiving. And you know, I'm buying some extra stuff. And then like the snacky stuff. Because Fat Man's going to be home Thursday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And so that's why I got some kind of snacks. The Iron Bowl game is going to be Saturday. Coming up. So, yeah. Yeah, I wanted, you know, stuff for that too. So, but $128. Whoops. 
I wasn't supposed to have gone over a hundred. Twenty-eight will come around. I mean, you know, we'll come up with it for something. I wanted to say, hold on, I gotta get a chair out of my way. Miss Doris, not Doris, our pup, but Miss Doris, thank you. She sent us the most precious blessing of Happy Thanksgiving Day card, and I've got to read it to y'all, because it, it brought tears to my eyes. It really did. Happiness wherever you are, smiles too many to count, blessings to be grateful for, hope that's the kind of Thanksgiving you enjoy this year, and then she wrote, family is like branches of a tree. We may grow in different directions, yet our roots remain the same. Love, Doris. And she sent a blessing, a, a love offering, if you will, a blessing offering. So it's Doris, on behalf of me and my family, thank you. Like, truly, thank you. You don't know how much that means to me. You did not have to do that. But they say God, put, God puts people in our path when we need them. And so, Miss Doris, I'm glad God put you in our path. Thank you. So, I'm going to get all this stuff put away, and then I'll show you our baking plans. So, I'll be back. Okay, now for my Walmart haul. And like I said, it is basically baking stuff. We're going to do cranberry, orange, mini loaves, like the loaf pan that I bought. Um, I got to sit down and then we're going to do banana nut loaves the mini loaves So and then fat man requested gingerbread cookies Carol Beth requested snickerdoodles Got that um, And then while I was looking I noticed the hot chocolate pancake mix Y'all I can't even I can't even I bought two of those because I'm just curious. And Carol Beth started Woo! like that in the store. <laughs> it was precious. All right, so I got two of the hot chocolate pancakes. I got one, two, three, four, five of the cranberry muffin quick bread mix. I got one, two, three, four, five of the gingerbread cookies. And then four of the snickerdoodles. They were out. I mean, I got the last four. Um, I saw these cute sprinkles. Let's see if I can get out of the glare. Okay, go that way. They were adorable. And then I did get this food coloring for my spritz cookies. That's going to be later, you know, on. I'm going to do my spritz. I got 10 of uh, the Martha White Banana Nut Muffin Mix. This was the cheapest route I could go for it. It was 93 cents. So I bought 10 of them. That's $9.30. So there you go. Also, I'd been looking and looking and looking for this Martha White Cotton Country Cornbread. We always called it the Martha White Cotton Picking Cornbread. Because she looks like she's flowing over cotton. Anywho, I got four of those because they are hard to find. It takes two packs to make a thing that goes in my iron skillet for cornbread. I'm going to go ahead and make that up probably today or first thing tomorrow morning. Might be tomorrow morning because my legs are worn out. Um, I, got, I found these when I was getting the banana nut muffin mix. The mini fruit flavored marshmallows, strawberry, lime, lemon, and orange. I bet they don't taste anything like that, but it was just neat to have the colors. I'm like Carol Beth used this for hot cocoa. Um, I was right there getting the cornbread, and the shake and bake was there, and I saw this great value kind. I've never seen this flavor. Honey bourbon. That just sounds good, doesn't it? So I got that. We're going to do um, chicken one night next week. So I got that. We do have that turkey that we got on the Ibotta deal where we got it free. 
Um, we aren't cooking that for Thanksgiving, but I did go ahead, while they have them, get the injectable butter, Tony Chittery's butter thing that you squirt up in him. Um, because basically now it's going to be the only time, now in Christmas, it's going to be the only time they have them out. If you're getting up, like, you know, after the holidays, they'll mark those turkeys down. Snag you three or four. Then whenever the month rolls around, don't buy chicken. You cook one of those turkeys. You debone it. And you use that turkey meat in place of cooked chicken. Like if you're doing poppy seed casserole or uh, chicken alfredo or chicken pot pie. You just use that turkey. I mean... Because they're going to be marked, or usually, usually, they'll mark them down. Which, right now, if you look really hard, you can find the 87 cents a pound. Honey, they had some that was like three fifty something a pound. No. No. Not unless the good Lord himself is going to come down from heaven and cook that turkey for you. You leave his butt there. You're going to find you an 87 cent pound turkey. I'm just saying. Oh, did I mention about the hams? It's that man I was telling about the hams. Let me put y'all on the thing. Honey, and I was looking. that I knew that they were going to have them on sale at Aldi. And I was looking. Y'all, to say that my eyes popped out my head is, yeah, that was kind to what I did. Um... I looked at that ham. He wasn't no bigger than that. I kid you not, it was that big. But it was wrapped in that gold and silver paper. Had the little brown sugar glaze thing on the outside. You know, you know the kind, that good ham. But I've never seen them where they're, you know, tiny. I flipped that thing over to see what price it was. I was expecting maybe five, six dollars, you know, for that little ham. Yeah, mm. Maybe 10. At, at the most, 10. Uh, you know, I, that wasn't a lot of meat. I could go buy some lunch meat and get more meat than that. Anyhow, I flipped that tag over. As the Lord is my witness, $27 and some change. Go ahead and say 28 What the heck? Oh, no. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. No. Notice I didn't have a ham on my table that I told y'all about, did I? Because I walked away. I didn't walk. I ran. I run, half a run. Get away from that stuff. Get away. So then when we got to like the more of the frozen stuff where they really have like the end cap with all the turkeys, there were some more hams up there. They were worse. They were $2.99 a pound and a little bit silver paper. I don't know what the difference was between the silver wrapped one and the gold wrapped one. Don't know. But they were still, they were more. That joker was $38. $38. No. Uh-uh. No. I don't think so. Mm, no. Mm-mm. -mm. So, now, we, we ain't got no ham. I got I got some ham lunch meat the other week. That's what I'm going to do my Monte Cristo sandwiches with. Uh-huh. Oh, I got to show you all the menu plan here in a minute. Me and Foxy are taking us a siesta. Aren't we, Fox? Are you taking a siesta? For every step I've taken, putting away groceries, talking about groceries, filming groceries, sweet baby girl has kept up with me. And I sat down and she laid down. Didn't you, baby? She can't hear. She can't hear and her, her eyes, her eyesight has gotten pretty bad. That We figured it out. That's why she hangs so close to us. Um, yeah, she'll follow us. She'll get like right up on our feet. And we never trip over her. But I've done learn now to start looking out for her. Isn't that right, Miss Mama? Hey, Foxy. Foxy, Foxy, hey, sweet girl. Yeah, no. 
Well, I'll okay, Hans, I'm here with the menu plan for the week. Um, let's see. Get y'all down here. Ugh. I'll tighten up now. It's going to get bumpy. <laughs> All right, and it might. All right, tomorrow night we're going to do hot dogs and brats. I'm going to do onions and peppers to go with the brats. And we're going to do baked beans and mac and cheese. Um, Tuesday night, instead of tacos or taco anything, I'm going to make a thing of soup, the hamburger vegetable soup. And I'm going to throw the ABC pasta in and then make cornbread muffins. Um, Wednesday, we're going to do popcorn shrimp, rice pilaf, and those Brussels sprouts. I wrote broccoli and then I remembered, no, you goofy, the name is Brussels sprouts. Thanksgiving, we're doing that turkey that we got from Sam's. It's like just the turkey breast. Dressing, squash casserole, green bean casserole. Sweet tater casserole. You, can you tell we like casseroles? Rolls and apple and pumpkin pie. Friday's going to be leftovers. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bubba. Saturday's going to be iron bowl. Get finger foods. Get it on. I know Auburn is going to get their butt whipped, but we can watch anyway. Um, and then Sunday, pizza rolls. Oh, yeah, finger foods. This is for Saturday and Sunday. Peach rolls, chips and salsa, cheese ball and crackers, and then Sunday is always like sandwich night. Um, if we don't have enough finger food stuff left, that's fine. I'll come up with some sandwiches. I usually try to do something special sandwich, like the other, no, well, the other week we did those hot ham sliders. Those were wonderful. This week, we're doing the Monte Cristo sandwiches. I can't wait. I'll probably film that, and that will be in a, a vlog that I upload later. Um, yeah, yeah. And I've tried sitting down thinking about what I can film and upload and try to get more of back to normal routine programming. Your routine schedule programming has been canceled due to... Uh, I, I could be that voice. <clears throat> Hi, you've reached Montgomery Waterworks. Please leave your name and a short message after the beep. Thank you. Or, Hi, this is the Waterworks. How may I direct your call? I was the voice. Of course, now my voice is Beckus, but I was the voice. Anywho. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think that's going to do it for today's vlog haul. So we hit Walmart, we hit Aldi's, and now I need to hit the bed. <laughs> and it's only 3 o'clock. Fat Man went to go work on Skeeter Swing. And uh, it's Luke's birthday today. So I just sent his gift card with that man to give to him. So they were going to come by after church. And we were in Prattville. So that didn't happen. I hope they'll come by later this evening. Tootabod, what are you doing? He loves getting up there. I don't know. It's like his cat tower. What are you going to do? So until next time, be good, be sweet. Don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. Share, play nice with others. If you need bail money, I got you. Yeah, of course I might be the reason why you need bail money. That's probably more like it. Yeah. <laughs> Who are we kidding? It, it, it would be my fault. <laughs> I'd never serve a day. I'm laying the groundwork for my defense. So until next time, Bye, y'all.